Once upon a time, a beautiful maiden called Medusa lived a long time ago. Medusa lived in the city of Athens in a country called Greece, and although there were many beautiful girls in the city, Medusa was considered the prettiest of them all. Unfortunately Medusa was very proud of her beauty and did not speak or think about anything else. Every day she boasted of how beautiful she was, and each day her displays became more extravagant. On Sunday, Medusa boasted with the miller that his skin was more beautiful than the newly fallen snow. On Monday she told the shoemaker that his hair shone more brightly than the sun. On Tuesday she told the blacksmith's son that her eyes were greener than the Aegean Sea. On Wednesday she bragged in front of everyone in the public gardens saying that her lips were redder than the reddest rose. When she was not busy sharing her thoughts about her beauty with all those who passed by her, Medusa gazed enraptured at her reflection in the mirror. She admired herself on a hand mirror for an hour every morning while brushing her hair. She admired herself in her darkened window for an hour each night as she prepared to go to bed. And she even stopped to admire herself in the well every afternoon when he drew water for her father's horses, she often forgot to bring water because of her distraction. Again and again Medusa spoke of her beauty to anyone who stopped long enough to listen to her, until one day she first visited the Parthenon with her friends. The Parthenon was the largest temple in all the land to the goddess Athena. It was decorated with incredible sculptures and paintings. Everyone who entered was overwhelmed by the beauty of the place and could not do anything but think how grateful they were with Athena, the goddess of wisdom, to inspire them and take care of their city Athens. All, except for Medusa. When Medusa saw the sculpture she whispered that she would have been a better model for the sculptor than Athena. When she saw the works of art she commented that the artist had done a good job considering the goddess' thick eyebrows, but imagine how extraordinary the painting would have been if it had been someone as delicate as Medusa. And when Medusa arrived at the altar she sighed happily and said this is a very beautiful temple. What a pity that they wasted it in Athena because I'm so much more beautiful than her, maybe one day a greater temple will be built in honor of my beauty. Medusa's friends paled. The priestesses who heard Medusa were speechless. The people in the temple began to whisper and soon they began to leave, because everyone knew that Athena enjoyed watching the people of Athens and feared what would happen if the goddess had listened to the reckless comments of Medusa. Soon the temple was empty except for Medusa, who was very busy looking proudly at her reflection in the great bronze doors and had not noticed the rapid exit of all the others. The image she was watching trembled and suddenly, instead of seeing her own features, Medusa saw Athena reflected. Boastful and foolish girl, said Athena, enraged, you think you're more beautiful than me. I doubt it's true, but if it were true, life is not just beauty. While others work and play and learn, you do very little apart from showing off and admiring yourself. Medusa tried to point out that her beauty was an inspiration to those around her and that she improved their lives just by looking so pretty, but Athena silenced her with a sign of frustration. Nonsense, Athena replied. Beauty fades quickly in all mortals. It does not comfort the sick, it does not teach those who do not know or feed the hungry. And by my powers, you will completely lose your love. Your destiny will serve to remind others that they should control their pride. And with those words Medusa's face changed and became that of a horrendous monster. Her hair twisted and thickened in the form of horrible serpents that whistled and fought each other over her head. Medusa, this has happened thanks to your pride. Your face now is so terrible to observe that just seeing it will turn a man into stone, proclaimed the goddess, and even you, Medusa, if you look at your reflection, you will become stone the instant you see your face. And so Athena sent Medusa with her snake hair to live with the blind monsters, the Gorgon sisters, at the ends of the earth, so that no one would turn to stone by looking at her accidentally.